Hello everyone, I hope you all are well and you are good. Today a massive match at Stamford Bridge under the lights. Chelsea vs Real Madrid. Could it be one of the last nights for Chelsea in the Champions League for many many years? Or at least one year at least? Or we are going to pull something massive in this game. But with the way our season is going on, it's very tough to see. We will welcome the super giants, the real giants of football, Real Madrid and Stamford Bridge today in a massive clash. So first of all, starting in a bit on the opponents before I go to Chelsea. Real Madrid again in the league have not been the Real we know. They are still not in a very good position. But in the Champions League, they are a whole different beast. Coming on to some of the players, Karim Benzema has scored 6 goals against us in his last 5 games against us. It's like we are one of his favourite opponents and he just loves playing against us. He has scored 6 goals in the last 5 games. The hat-trick at Stamford Bridge last year. He scored in the uh, first leg 2-0 defeat as well. And he loves playing against us. Along with that, Real Madrid with some injury news a, a bit of an, on the lineup. I think Foyle Mendy will be out for this game. But other than that, most of the squad is fully fit for the match. So I think the likely 11 for Real Madrid for this game is most probably going to be the same. Thibaut Courtois, a world-class goalkeeper at the back. Carvajal, Kamavinga, the left back who played really well in the last game. But a player we could have really targeted but we had no attacking identity. So... It was very tough to expect. The centre-backs in Militao and Alaba. Rudiger might play but I think they'll start with these two and Rudiger might come from the bench like last game. Then Modric, Valverde and Cruz. Again a midfield who really absolutely outdid us in the last game. And if we want to win this game or even hope of winning this game, like last year we need N'Golo Kante back at his uh, fully best. And the front three, Rodrigo, who was so good. He's so tough to handle. Vinicius Jr. right now, one of the best winger in the world. You can say the best. He's just so good, man. The way he ran with the ball, the way he goes past defenders. As much as I will always say, Reese James is one of my favorite players at Chelsea and one of the best in the world. He was toasted. He was destroyed by Vinicius Jr. And same goes with Wesley Fofana. And then Karim Benzema, right now you have to say, the best striker along with Haaland in the world. But Benzema is just a bit more in his game than Haaland. He is world class and he can pull off always something that you don't expect. This is about Real Madrid. Coming on to our now. Now our situation is diabolical. 11th in the league. Losing to Brighton and Stamford Bridge, it easily could have been 5-1, 6-1 the way we played that game and the season has been diabolical. In the first leg, again, we went with the mentality to just contain, just contain and we were lucky to come out of it with a 2 victory. Yes, Mason could have scored but Rudiger put a fantastic block but if Real Madrid had more attacking idea about them, more, you can say, clinicality about them, they could have won their game 3 or 4-0. Yes, we had some chances, the Joe Felix won but after that, it was a total demolition. We just sat back and after the red card, we literally had no choice and the players had no confidence. We were destroyed in the first leg. The season has not been going in a good way. Champions League has only been a, a bit of a savior. The match against Dortmund, the performance against injured AC Milan side, the B AC Milan side with the injuries. Other than that, it's been a very, very horrific season. We have had Thomas Tuchel sacked, Graham Potter sacked, Bruno Salta left because he wanted to, uh, he did not want to work after Graham Potter was sacked. He was one of Graham Potter's second men. And after that, we have brought Frank Lampard as much as I love Super Frank. We have to be honest, he's not a proper top class manager and he lost the first match as well. For Real Madrid literally, we have now our fourth manager in charge this season and it's been a total disaster. The owners going into the dressing room, having a chat with the players, even hurting a one of a player a bit in terms of saying some words which he did not like. Now, I don't know who the player is, but it could be anyone and that's not a good idea. The owners spending one hour in the dressing room with the guys. Lampa trying to uh, rile up the players, not having much tactical uh, training because he's saying that we don't have time for tactical training. Like I came and we only had a match straight away in three to four days. So he's right in his own way. How can he plan tactical identity when Real Madrid clash was three days away? It's just not possible and it's been a total chaos. From the summer transfer window to now, the players are absolutely out of conference. We fans are really fearing relegation fears or even if we might not win the, uh, any game this season. People are thinking if Ducal did not get the, those 10 points, will we be even in this position? We might have been fighting for relegation and that's how bad our season has been. But now coming on to 18th April, a day where Chelsea have always had a good day. We beat Arsenal in 2009 on this day 2-1 to go to the FA Cup final. We beat Barcelona, the great Barcelona side 1-0 this day. And this is a very important day for Chelsea. We have some good history on this day. Can these guys fight for the badge and pull off another massive day for Chelsea Football Club 18th April? But on the other hand, those guys were Didier Drogba, Frank Lampard, John Terry 
And right now, bar Thiago Silva, a lot of these players have no connection with the fans and fans don't have any confidence in them. So can they do it? I'll chat in the lineup discussion now. The likely 11 for me with the injuries and everything because we have no Koulibaly for this game. So we cannot play a back three. It has to be back four, sadly, with goalkeeper Kepa. The right back Reese James, Kukurilla the left back because Ben Chilwell is suspended to the red card. Centre backs in Thiago Silva and Wesley Fofana. And because we are playing a back four, for me, we have to go with Enzo Kovacic Kante midfield three so we can be protected and have a lot of possession. And if we want to even stand a chance of beating Real Madrid, we need to outnumber the midfield. And front three of Joe Felix at the left wing. Mason Mount for me at the right wing is a very important player. He makes some clever runs. He's good with the ball. And I think he can be a very important factor in this game. And as much as people like it or not, we need Kai Havas in this game. We literally have no one. And Raheem Sterling should not start this game. And for me, this could be the likely Chelsea 11. Also, I hope that this is the Chelsea 11 because I think this is the 11. We have better chance of beating Madrid because I think with the back four, with the threat of Vinicius Jr. Benzema, I think we need three players in the midfield and we have to outnumber Real Madrid in the midfield as well. And I think Mason Mount, Job, Felix Harvards can work very well in tandem and can disturb the Real Madrid defence. Now, goals are side as no goals, whether it's Sterling, Ziyech and these three players. But I think these three have better chance of troubling Real Madrid defence and hopefully they have some clinicality. Now, coming on to the last part, the prediction and the final hope. See guys, in the end, 2-0 is not the biggest margin in the world to clear off. It can be clear. We start the match on high energy. We play for the fans. We fight and we get the early goal within 15 minutes. Real could really start worrying. And in this match, Chelsea are massive underdogs and all the pressure is on Real Madrid. So they might start feeling it. So yes, it is possible. 2-0 is not the worst margin in the world. And as Stamford Bridge under the lights, we have seen some very big days, some very big nights happen at this club. But now the question arises, will these players do it? Can these players do it? Can they fight for the batch? These players have the ability. Enzo, N'Golo Kante, Marta Kovacic, Thiago Silva, Mason Mount, Kai Havertz, Chao Felix, Reese James. These are more than capable enough players to play in a quality competition like Champions League and even try to win it. It's just that they have no mental belief. The defeats this season has been so much that they don't believe. This was most of the same core of players that won us the Champions League convincingly where we had to not worry. These players have the ability, they have the desire, it's just that they don't have the belief and right now they don't believe in their skills. These are things that we all can come here and keep saying on, the managers can keep telling them, it's up to them on the pitch to change it. For me, at the moment, my prediction is I'm going with Chelsea 2, Real Madrid 2. I believe that there's going to be something big today. But I just think Real Madrid quality will get them through. But I think we will see some goals today. That is just my positive prediction. I know I'm going to look like an idiot, but I'm going to be positive. But on the other hand, even if you don't qualify, fight for the batch, play well, even if you don't win, play in a such a way that fans can remember this performance. If this is one of our last nights in the Champions League for some years, play in such a way that people remember, man, Chelsea is a tough cookie in this competition and Real Madrid remember us that they gave us a real go and we can end the season well on a note that yes, these players care. On this note, it's time for Chelsea to fight. These players have to show the passion for the shirt. If you don't win, at least fight for God I'm sake. You take big wages, you play for this batch for whom so many players have done everything on the pitch. Fight for the batch and as always, up the blues and I believe in the blues. Big up Chelsea.